of a, an abbreviated start to uh, to the morning here. Um, got the machine outside already here. It's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, we're going up to one of the lodges uh, first thing this morning. We actually got kind of a busy day today. We'll see it a little bit later on in the video here. But we're going to go up to Mustang Powder Cat Skiing, which is uh, out to the west of Revelstoke here. But yeah, first thing this morning, we're going to head up to another lodge called the Blanket Glacier Chalet. Uh, we've got somebody coming out uh, a little bit early. So we're going to go grab them, bring them back to town. And that's kind of where we're at for the morning so far. We'll just skip to the good parts now and uh, we'll go flying. Alrighty, good morning. Temperatures and pressures are all looking good here in the aircraft. We've got fuel for the flight. And we're just going to bring the rotor system up to 100% here and go flying. And rivals of traffic, Bell 26, Gulf Whiskey, Kilo Yankee. Uh, we're running at the Glacier Hangar. We'll be lifting, departing out to the east. Complex, it's Whiskey, Kilo Yankee, Revelstoke. Glacier Chalet is about uh, probably about 20 miles to the south of uh, south of us here. So basically, just going to peel out to the Columbia River Valley, which is in front of us here. So we've got a pretty uniform ceiling here on this side of the valley. I know there's holes over on the uh, on the resort side there. From uh, just taking a peek at the webcams before I, uh, before I left. But basically, this next drainage up here is called Begbie Creek. I'm guessing it should be uh, pretty clear. It's uh, nice and clear up in the Alpine right now. So just uh, we've got a get from below the cloud layer here, up and above it. All right, we're pretty much here. Just gonna start the descent down to uh, the lodge, get these guys on the radio, and uh, let them know we're inbound. So the chalet is right off our nose here, so we're gonna basically come into the back end of the drainage, hook a big left turn, and then shoot our approach into the lodge. A little bit of a tailwind right here, which is great. The uh, end of wind turning into the lodge. Blanket Glacier Chalet to the south of Revelstoke, 6.2, and we'll be uh, northbound back to Revelstoke Complex. It's Whiskey Kilo Yankee. Back under the clouds. Nice.
right, so that one's done. Um, yeah, nice, nice cruisy flight up into the Blanket Glacier Chalet. That was a pretty, pretty soft opening to uh, to winter flying, which is always kind of nice because it gets really ugly and gross here throughout the throughout the winter for the weather that we have to fly in. So that was a really, really nice cruisy start. Getting back into uh, into the winter flying now. So tie down the machine here and uh, head back inside. And Daryl's here now, so. We'll uh, kind of chat about the plan for the rest of the day here and, and kind of get to it. So we're going up to Mustang do, uh, to do their guides training. But basically, um, what we're kind of training for here is all the operating stuff around the helicopter for their safety, for our safety, uh, for the guest safety. And then of course, one of the big things that, uh, that we're always kind of on the line for is a medevac flight. If uh, any of their skiers or guests get injured while they're out skiing. So um, we're gonna go through all of our kind of emergency procedures with the guides today in terms of how we would execute a medevac flight. So this is, this is our stretcher that goes into the front seat of the helicopter. So we'll take that up today and we'll practice actually installing that um, into the helicopter with the guide. So for the time being, it just kind of fits into the cheek and then we'll, uh, we'll take it out when we get up to uh, Mustang a little later on. I'm actually walking over to Eagle Pass Heli Skiing. They're kind of our next door neighbors here at Glacier. And I'm gonna go pick up a bundle of uh, what are called heli stakes. So it's black stakes with a little bit of orange flagging tape on the end of them. And, uh, and we're gonna take that up to Mustang. And basically what that does for us as pilots is it gives us reference to, uh, to our landing spot. Uh, we'll definitely see it as we go through the winter here, but we'll get into, um, you know, really light powdery snow and it ends up uh, kind of exploding like a snow globe. And, uh, and those stakes give us visual reference to the ground and, and give us uh, the ability to kind of see whether we're drifting, moving forwards, moving backwards or not. So bundle acquired. So you probably see <clears throat> that's the orange flagging tape that sits on the uh, the top end there. Um, just kind of waves around in the wind. It gives us a nice little indicator of wind direction right on the ground. We'll take this up to Mustang today and, uh, and these will be our reference points for the winter. We're gonna push the machine out here and then uh, basically head up towards Mustang Powder Cat skiing here. This is my my third winter flying around Rebel Stoke. Second on the A-Star. So on our way up to Mustang here, Daryl and I are gonna go do uh, a couple training approaches, that kind of stuff. It's something we do every year um, and kind of leads into uh, essentially just our annual training um, that we do anyways. We'll uh, pop the machine out here, get some fuel in it and then, uh, and then head up to the lodge. That's an adrenaline rush. Traffic at Star, Fox Trap, Bravo Lima Whiskey. We're running at the Glacier Hangar. We'll be uh, lifting and departing out to the west. And complex, it's Bravo Lima Whiskey, BLW, Rebel Stoke. Dave, I remember how to do this. like the bottom road and there's a little pull out yep and the biggest thing there is that snag uh like a big deadhead that's sticking up yeah how was it in the winter when all that uh, all that small stuff's covered up so that's a pretty white slope it's a assuming. super white spot yeah and i i've blown off the approach to there because i could see that tree but i couldn't see the landing okay um nice approach into it at least though hey sort of 
you don't really come at it this way, unfortunately. Are you like straight on? Yeah, so I'm just gonna put it on my side here. Oh, let me see how your snowball is. Yeah, okay. Let's use this again while the uh, red light's out front. Big vertical like that with customers, I tend to back up a little bit. That way, if you gotta go back down, they're not like right underneath you. You've gotta, and I mean like back up like a fuselage length. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the lodge. Okay. And Mustang Lodge from Eric, Glacier. Over Mustang Lodge. Yeah, we're just gonna shoot our approach here. Not bad, Eric. Yeah, uh, nobody should be outside right now. And uh, we'll wait till you shut down to approach. Sounds good, thanks. Okay, so basically, yeah, we just uh, went through the, the full safety briefing with the whole staff that's gonna be up at Mustang Powder Skiing for the winter season this year. Um, we also have um, the guides and staff that are gonna be up at Skeena Cat Skiing, which is in Smithers. So uh, they're here just doing a full company-wide uh, training session. So some of the guides are doing their, uh, their cat, cat driver training here as well. Okay, so now we're uh, kind of getting into basically putting the stretcher into the helicopter. We've got somebody loaded up into uh, the backpack. So we've got the backpack here. And then this is the crew that's going to be basically putting the uh, backpacked person into the helicopter on the backboard. So uh, that's kind of what that looks like here. Yeah, the was like... It's not going to be down. Yeah, I have to be up. Yeah. I think it would be if like injury. I think Quincy had a good point. If his knees were like yeah. up. All right, so we're done the uh, guides training here up at Mustang. So Daryl and I are going to just load up the machine here and then head back down to Revelstoke. Basically call it a day. That was a really good, uh, really, really good training session here. Uh, we spend basically two to three days a week up here doing the, the transfer for these guys every winter. So there are a lot of moving parts and just having everybody on board with all the safety uh, aspects of, of what we do up here is super, super important. So I think everybody got something good out of it. We'll say farewell to Mustang for the time being and uh, we'll be back up here in about uh, two weeks or so. All right, we'll jump in the machine here and head back to Revelstoke. They like it. So they Well, uh, I'll sign off for the day today. We're back at the hangar and uh, all done for now. Daryl's giving me a look. But um, this was another fun one to make here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. 
and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one.